Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the semis here in the West Coast Conference here in season number two. We take on Gonzaga, the top seed, only lost, I believe, one game in conference play, and they have quite the lineup. Marshall Thousand, Isaiah Torres, Jaron McCann, Jamie Donaldson, Dagger Sigurdsson. I mean, they are a very, very deep team. They score. Their bench scoring is just as good as our starters. Zion Storm and Shratley were the only ones to score in double digits this year, so they will have to step up. Contavian Morgan gets the start in this one. Even though Joyner went off for 30-something points last game, I want some a defensive stopper in to stop the backcourt of uh, Gonzaga, because they have Marshall Thousand who can score the ball. Jaron McCann is pretty good at scoring the ball. He is their forward. He's going to be guarded by Spratley. So I just want a defensive guy in there right away to set the tone. So we do win the tip here versus number one seed. We work it to Contavian Morgan right away. It's a three. That's good. That's the type of production I want out of him. He is one of the best catch and shoot players that we have. And there he is on defense right away with the block on Thousand. Hellcott running the floor. And it's a layup. In and in one, Jamie Donaldson gets called for the foul. How about this start for Long Beach already? And Baz Hellcott goes to the line. He's not the best free throw shooter, and he's going to miss that free throw. So it's going to remain a 5 nothing game. So here we are with possession after another good defensive sequence. Here is Spratley getting to the lane. Look at this. A little acrobatics. And one, Jamal Rhodes gets called for the foul. He is their leading scorer. If we can get him into foul trouble, we'll be in pretty good shape. So Spratley goes to the line. He's not the best free throw shooter and he misses his as well. But it's 7-0 here to start it out. A great start here for Long Beach. So here's Jeremy McCann with the fadeaway. That's a Kobe fadeaway right there. Deep two. And that one does start out the offense here for Gonzaga here. A five point deficit early on. Working it inside. Fadeaway. Jump shot. And that is good. Isaiah Torres, the point guard, hit that one. And now it's back to a three-point game as Zion Storm takes it in, though. And answers right back. It's 9-4. to four. So now here we are, working it in transition. Out to Storm again. He's getting going. He's got five early points. And now here we are with a nice lead to start this game. How about this? 14-7, to seven, but you know the half-court offense is where they kill you. This time, it's going to be an and-one and I believe that is Rhodes. Yes, it is. He comes off the bench, actually, in this game as the leading scorer. And he does make it a 14-10 game. So here is Hellcott this time in the post. He can't get that to go over Rhodes. Here is Isaiah Torres running in transition up to Jaron McCann and gets it to go. That's actually Marshall Thousand on the layup. And in right, I mean, it's right back to a two-point game. You cannot keep Gonzaga long down for long. It's here off of the deflection this time. Isaiah Torres gets it saved and then goes up for a layup and a foul by Baz Hellcott, his second of the game. He does get in foul trouble quite a bit. That's why we need the depth at center because he's going to be drawing a lot of those or at least committing a lot of those fouls. And here is Donaldson this time. He gets going. And now here we are down by two. After the seven-point lead here to start this game, now down by three points, 17-14. Here is Jet in the game. He checks in and goes to the lane. Gets fouled. Marshall Thousand on the foul. So we actually do get it to a 16-17 lead. This time a jump shot is good. Gonzaga is so good in this half-court offense. And we definitely have to stop them here on defense. Working it inside once again. Missed shot. A rebound and put back up and in. And that is good. We got to take advantage of these defensive boards. We have to crash those. And instead, Gonzaga takes the five-point lead here. Five and a half to go in the first half. Working it inside. It's Isaiah Torres. He hits that one for his ninth point of the game. It's now a seven-point lead in Gonzaga's favor. But here we are back on offense. Getting going. It's Zion Storm. He's got seven early points. He's three for six. And now we trim it back to a five-point lead. Working it inside to Spratley. Back out. Trevor Williams off the bench. And he gets it to go in the lane. And the contact as well. It's now a three-point game as we work it back here to three points. 
But here is Rose, their leading scorer in the game. He drives the lane and one. What center do you know can handle the ball like that? And he gets it to go in traffic. And now it's up to a six point lead. So Contavian Morgan checks in. He misses the deep two that time. He had a foot on the line. But here they are working it here. Full court press here from Storm. Isaiah Torres is deed up, but they pass it inside. And it's going to be good. And that is Donaldson again in an eight-point lead for Gonzaga. So here is Storm getting the pick this time. Working it back out. Morgan, three. Good. I said he was one of the best, best catch-and-shoot players we have. And he does have six early points off of two threes. And now we, uh, we have a good defensive possession here as you work it up in transition. Storm steps back, takes the three. It's good. Back to a two-point game. You can already see this is going to go down to the wire. You know it. So here is Storm now on the perimeter, trying to get around a defender. He can't right now. He makes a move and gets to the bucket, though. Passes it around, around to the corner now. Bye bye yay the lead is back in our hands. Now a one point lead off of the corner three. Good defensive possession. That's why Contavian Morgan is in there. He gets the rebound. We have numbers, five on four. Storm is open for the three, it's good. Now up to a four point lead. We come all the way back. That's why I love this team. There's no quit at all. But here, 11 seconds left. They pass it inside. They do get the foul that time on Contavian Morgan and hit both free throws. But now, at the end of the half, trying to put one up, and then Joyner gets blocked, but Contavian Morgan, they actually call an offensive foul on that play. So, Gonzaga gets one last heave at the basket, and it's going to be an air ball, but a two-point lead. We fight all the way back after losing the lead, and Gonzaga looked like they were gonna pull away. They were pretty efficient on offense, but we come back after a couple of good defensive sequences, Nice defense by Contavia Morgan, Spratly, all those boys, 32-30. So we go into halftime shooting 50% from three, so we have to use that to our advantage as Marshall Thousand starts it out with a very deep two. And that does tie the ball game up here, 32 apiece. But here's Gonzaga once again. Another offensive foul as they just crash the boards. They are killing us on the offensive rebounds. Here they are playing some D now, 34-32 in transition, working it inside, and it's good. Jaron McCann makes it a four-point lead. So now here with the four-point lead, McCann again, they're going to start going to their best offensive weapon. He's probably their best ISO scorer, and you can see it right there. He gets the and one on that one, and now it's up to a seven-point lead here as Gonzaga is dominating. Here's Donaldson, a deep three missed, but Rhodes off the bench. He gets it to go. That's where they've been killing us, those second chance opportunities, rebounding by Rhodes, Donaldson, all those guys on the inside. But here's Morgan finally getting to the bucket this time, uh, trimming it down to a seven point lead. Jet in transition. Now a five point lead. There's no quitting this Long Beach State team. But here's Gonzaga back out on offense. They have quite the scores. And this one, Donaldson. He gets to the bucket, throws it down. You have to double these guys because, honestly, they can all score. Donaldson, deep three. Another offensive board from Rhodes, and it's good. This guy is amazing. I see why he was their leading scorer. I mean, he just does it all for this team. McCann inside, another bucket. It's up to an 11-point lead here. Five minutes to go. Can we stop this offense? Torres now. It's so many guys that can kill you. It's up to a 12-point lead here for Gonzaga. So now it's a 12-point lead. Joyner gets the pick, and he makes the three. Joyner is such a good shot maker. He finally gets going in this one, but it may be a little too late. McCann, a fadeaway two. I mean, these guys are so tough to stop, and they're up to an 11-point lead now. Two and a half to go. So here is Joyner now in transition, working it to the corner. Contavian Morgan, he gets us going. It's back down to a single-digit lead here, 59-51, 2.15 to go. But here is a pass in the corner this time, deflected by Storm. They get it back, working it around, double team, pass inside, and that is good. Sigginson this time, and that is going to bring it back to a 10-point lead. 
But now a minute and a half to go in transition. We want to try to get a steal. Double teaming. Sigginson again. And that is a bucket. He's been quiet all game. He actually starts for this team, but Rhodes leads their team off the bench. Morgan off of the screen. Actually, the play design in the motion offense. And that one is going to be off. It looks like it may be a little too late as here is Gonzaga. One last possession. Working it inside, and it's good. Jaron McCann with the dagger. 35 seconds left. Here is Storm now. Just trying to get a three-point shot to go, and he does. But 11-point lead here for Gonzaga. 30 seconds left now, down to 10. We get the steal, and we run in transition. And here is Storm now. He stops, pops, and that one is going to be off. And that's going to do it for Long Beach here in season number two. Gonzaga moves on. We lose for the third straight game to Gonzaga this year. And we're going to have to come a little harder. You just saw what happened. The offensive rebounds and the play by Rhodes. Man, that guy is unstoppable. He gets everything that's around his area. He'll snag it off the boards. And that was the difference. I mean, they just scored in the half-court offense. Jaron McCann with those ISO plays. I mean, those fadeaway shots. I mean, that's just incredible skill. I mean, we can't stop that. We had perfect defense played on those. And he just hit it. And that ended up being the difference. It's just the skill gap is just there. 65 to 54. We stayed in the game. We showed that fight. We even snagged the lead back after being down by double digits. And we came back and we just could not come back again. Storm had 19 in this one. Morgan had 12 as well. Jet and Joyner had seven off the bench. Joyner was our leading scorer last game. And I wanted a defensive guy in there. Morgan is a bit better on defense. So I like to play him to at least stop their best guards. You can just see, man, they dominated. I mean, honestly, they dominated on the inside. Donaldson had eight boards. McCann had four. Marshall had four. Torres had six. Rhodes had six. Jeffries had five. I mean, look at all the rebounds they snagged for their team. I mean, that was just a huge, big difference. And even their guards can rebound. That's what's crazy. Their guards are rebounding over our big men. <laughs> that is crazy to me as they move on to the finals and they will play Pepperdine. Those two dominated in conference play for sure. And we end up simming that game. Let's just see who won that game. Let's check out the box score. And Pepperdine takes it by 12, 94 to 82. I always thought that Pepperdine, when we played them, was the better team out of those two because they can just score at will. They had such a high tempo offense. They could score inside and out. Gonzaga really didn't start scoring from the three-point line until the second half when we just played them. And they barely took any threes at all in that game altogether. So next episode will be the off season. Baz Helcott is going to be a senior next year. Bamaye is graduating, so we're going to miss Bamaye. Buster Howard is graduating. Jorge Takahashi is graduating. And then Trevor Williams is also graduating. So we have four graduating seniors and that have been playing meaningful time. I'm definitely going to miss them. And now we move on to a new journey here in season number three. We have, we have some new incoming freshmen coming in. We have some guys that are getting older as well. How about Storm going into his junior season? He's remember, was a freshman coming into this series. It's been fun with him and Spratly. They've been able to uh, grow together. CS Bands, uh, JD Joyner, all those guys. It's going to be fun to see what they can do next year and improve in our first conference uh, I guess our first year in the West Coast Conference, 13 and 18 overall, not too bad for our first time. So we made it to the semis. Hopefully next year will be better. Off season next, hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I be trying to do me, but they be trying to copy though. Only problem with that is they not me though. People act cool, but really they be shy. They say they got your back, but they ain't even behind me though. I be low key, but police be trying to find me.